Welcome back, knights, to Lord Couch Alive. Glad you're all joining me today. On this Wednesday. Just a Wednesday. Uh, let's see. Didn't have my stuff together today. We're playing more uh, Mario vs. Rabbids, or Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle. I started that Monday. So... And got through world one. From what I can tell, there are four, maybe a fifth world in the five worlds in the game. So let, let's see if I can get through the second world today. No guarantees. As it is, I went long Monday to finish world one. But, uh, yeah, gonna pick it up. It's enjoyable. It's funny. Good graphics. I don't know if I'm gonna get all the way through the game, but I want to play at least a little bit more today. A couple quick plugs before I start. Gonna push it every day. Uh, my YouTube video, my YouTube channel, Lord Coucha, on YouTube, whatever. Uh, I have a highlight video up this week, just like last week, of a. Uh, hey, now I can point it out. Torok. Uh, I didn't play the Switch version, I played the Steam version, but I ran through that game, putting up highlight reels of that. Please check it out. Let me know what you think. Offer any criticism, please. And uh, Facebook. Creator Spotlight segment. This week's spotlight spotlighted creator is Larry Bundy Jr., also known as Guru Larry. Love that guy. Please check him out through either his own YouTube page or my Facebook Creator Spotlight segment. That's that's it for today. Alright, King to Battle. So, for those who aren't familiar with Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle, it's a turn-based tactical game, much like XCOM or other turn-based tactical games are. Uh, Three-man squads. Um, but the, you know, it's obviously a crossover between the Mario universe and the and Ubisoft's Rayman, Rab Raving Rabbids universe. No Rayman, just, just Rabbids in this game. But uh, it's cartoony, it's funny, it's goofy. Highly enjoyable. Uh, this whole concept should be a movie. Rabbids should be a movie. That's right. Let me just adjust the volume real quick. Should be about right. Might have to play with that. This game was tricky to attack down the volume for last time. But this is, I think, about where it was. Might be a little loud. We'll, we'll play it by ear. And uh, music by Grant Kirkhope, one of my favorite composers. What a guy. What a guy. He's really active on Twitter, too. I, like, occasionally have s short exchanges with him. I wouldn't say full-blown conversations, but it's cool. All right, so we're picking up on the main story. Approximately... Oh, I have none of those toad-looking rabbits. Let's say about 20% of the way through the game, which makes sense. Well, yeah, I think the far left is the missions, the main campaign mission. So I'm about 20% of the way through the game. Yeah, there's probably five worlds. Four worlds plus a fifth final final battle world. So it's, it's probably going to pop me in Peach's Castle, which is the central safe hub, safe zone of the game. And I never commented last time. I really like that uh, loading animation for that rabbit. It's 2D, hand-drawn, frame-by-frame. Looks very nice. You don't see enough of that in video games, especially nowadays. So, oops. Almost missed it. Um, before I dive straight into World 2, I'm going to go back into World 1 because I've gained a new ability or power-up that... Um, will allow me to find some goodies that I was not able to get earlier. I still think I have to get more power-ups to find them all, like I'm probably gonna have to backtrack through World 1 multiple times. I was debating just putting it off and go doing one sweep later, but considering how much money I need to afford the weapons, and just how many weapons there are, I think it's a good idea to seek out everything I can as early as possible. At least make the playthrough a little bit smoother. <laughs> the writing's really good. 
How have I ne not checked out this area? It's like one spot I completely missed, I guess. Or it's new, like added on, since I beat World 1. So, there are these treasure chests all around where you can find um, concept art, music tracks, um, little dioramas or models of characters, as well as, of course, weapons and other goodies. Ooh, like a platinum chest? Oh! Start work. Okay. Alright, so world one. Presumably this way. It's one giant loop. I'll find it eventually. I just hope I'm going the right way first. Yep, there we are. Let's see, so now I can push these blocks. I mean, no. Okay. So I need. Maybe once I beat World 2 or 3, I'll learn the ability to plant things. Okay, now I can actually choose where I want to enter this world. Wow, I like this map. I mean, I don't love it, but it's nice. It looks nice. Oh, and it tells me how many collectible chests I found. Secret chapter. Challenges. Okay. A lot to do. Alright, maybe I, uh, maybe I false, falsely advertised that this would be a World 2 stream. This might be... Entirely a world one stream. Let's see. Hopefully this doesn't take forever. And if I only got 17 out of the 30 available chests, I'm telling you right now, my hunch was right. I'm going to have to come back later anyway with more power-ups. There's no way there's another 13 treasure chests that I can just gain all of a sudden. Hopefully I shouldn't have to be look around too hard. I think I scoured this place pretty well the first time through. So I will be more or less just keeping an eye out for um, those pushable blocks. As well as anything that would indicate to me a challenge like this. Oh, those are what the mushroom rabbits are for. There are ten challenges in each world. Fourteen. Three turns? Is this for real? Okay. I mean, this, it said the challenge was very easy, so... Hoping they stayed true to that. Maybe I will be able to do this.
Okay. Well, that was kind of a lame angle, but... Okay. Ooh. Cheeky little rabbit. these guys though two more turns to take them all out oh man that doesn't math out even if I'm taking out two per unit per turn that's 12 or yeah that's 12 I hate how it auto places it for me. Can I just move it where I want? Well, I can do some damage there. I feel like this is better off. They're all at full health. Okay, fine, I'll do it your way. I think. Please. Fine. What's up, Marks? Mario in the me gunner costume. Yeah, that's it's pretty close. So many good targets. Thank him. Done already? <clears throat> I don't think I'm gonna beat the challenge. Mario's taking a beating. Not too concerned. Alright, slightly concerned. Oh 
Oh, wow. Alright, power up the team. Let's see if we can finish this to some degree. Golden shot. Okay, so Mario can't stay exposed. I don't know if this is the play, but I'm doing it. Nice critical. Oh my god. Huge. Nice. I did it. I don't know how I pulled that off. Music reminds you of Rayman? I only played like, I think the only Rayman, oh no, I did play a couple of Raymans, but I could see how. The, there would be a certain connection. I don't think Grant Kirkhope did the music for Rayman, but um, just like he took a lot of inspirations from Mario music in the soundtrack, I'm sure he visited Rayman to try to get sp some inspiration from there. Mm -hmm. The PS1 one? That might have been, I think, just the original Rayman. I did play that one, but uh, only on the uh, Game Boy Advance port. Game is hard. Doesn't start hard, but it gets hard. Okay, so f when it comes to these challenges, if there's gonna be 10 per world, I don't think I'm gonna try to actively beat them all right now. First of all, it's gonna take a while, and secondly, um, I think it's just a good idea to come in with, like, uber gear and wipe this area. I feel like if I go try to go through these challenges right now, it's gonna be a challenge. But if I come back with better gear, I don't think that'll be the case. All right, so they respawn all the coins, so I can't exactly tell where I've been or not been. But I will take the coins because these weapons are expensive. They're like I think they get more expensive, but right now the lowest level weapons are like 500 coins a pop. Some of the more expensive, or the, some of the newer weapons I've unlocked are 700 coins a pop, and I'm sure they only go up from there. And each ca character has a bunch of weapons to choose from. Some of them have two classes of weapons to, to choose from, so... Um, I'm sure it would cost a lot of coins to wow. buy every character's weapon in the game. So I'm gonna, at least for now, I feel like I'm gonna have to be choosy when it comes to what I purchase. Yahoo! I think only purchasing things when I de like desperately need them is the way to go. Let's 
scoping out the area. Because in these very detailed worlds, it's, I guess, kind of easy to miss little things, little details. I think we're good up here. Definitely nothing over there. I don't even see coins. like turning my head like trying to get a catch a better angle at it that's how immersive it is oh the chat's working faster for you that's good um i would love to take the credit but i i assure you i did nothing so hey maybe youtube's doing their job I mean, when it comes to, like, live stream, I expect a, at least a few seconds of delay anyway. Up to, like, five seconds. Up to or around five seconds. But, I don't know how quick it's moving for you now, but... Either way, good to hear it's a little more responsive. Alright, so I'm skipping this challenge. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Would chat slow down again? Oh, is this a, the secret challenge area? Maybe? I uh, This... Oh. Did I mean to do that? Yeah, I guess so. Okay, it's not really a secret, per se. That's a that's a definitely a fast travel. Should I have just taken it? Not sure. Trying to see if there's like a jump button I hadn't realized. I wonder if that's a like a power up, the ability to jump. I don't know what. What is this all about? I don't see what these are for. Like a ball supposed to roll down here? I'm thinking like Legend of Zelda Ice Block Puzzle. Like, am I supposed to like ricochet something? I'll be right back. What's up, Nowlon? No, Nolan? Nolan? Forgive me if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly. But, uh, yeah, you're getting black screen on Twitch? On mobile, I assume? I, I have not 
I don't think I've encountered that on, like, desktop yet, but I think mobile's been doing that a lot lately. That's quite unfortunate. I mean, I would say reload it a few times, but, uh... So far, that doesn't seem to be the case. Twitch chat is faster. Okay. You know, I'll have to write a note or something for myself to after after I get off a of stream today. I'll have to go into I'll have to really dig around in YouTube's stream settings, see if there's any way I can speed that up. I haven't really went into it deeply other than just covering the bases, but maybe there's a way for me to speed up the chat. For all I know, there might be like a one to five second auto delay or something going on. Okay, well, I can't push this block back. Interesting. So. Is this for anything? I don't even see like a treasure chest or anything. Just like a playground area? Okay, I'll just have to hopefully remember this as a thing. No idea what that's about. Eleven seconds. Alright, that's a lot slower than I thought. Yeah, I'll have to look into that. I mean, there may be a slight added delay because I'm multi-streaming, so, you know, that's just one extra channel for the message to go through before it reaches the screen. So, but 11 seconds to me seems a bit, uh, a bit much. Honestly, anything more than 5 seconds is not really that good. Okay. Well, at least it sounds like for... At least on Twitch, it seems like it's moving at about the speed I would like. And yeah, once again, I'll, 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 uh... Look through YouTube settings later, see what I can figure out. Alrighty, uh...
Okay, that's that's where oh, that was the skip I got. That block puzzle, a puzzle? I assume it was a puzzle. That the, that arrangement of blocks earlier is pissing me off. Uh, Marks, this is a predominantly a turn-based strategy game, so you might have caught me a few minutes ago doing like a turn-based gun game before. That's what the game is all about. It's it's like a tactics sort of game. Um, I only played it really for the first time yet Monday. Um, there's a lot of open world exploration in between the missions. I wasn't expecting, so it seems kind of divided between its open world exploration and then its turn-based tactical gameplay. But it's basically the world of Super Mario and Rayman's Raving Rabbids fused together and... Or R Rabbids invaded the Mushroom Kingdom accidentally and we're here to fix it all up. Oh, this maybe this is the secret challenge area? Um, no, this is actually just much further in the map. Like the South Park game? Um, okay, yeah, I'm like, which? I'm thinking of South Park 64 game. I'm like, eh, not really like that one. Yes, yeah, so the... The more, uh, st stick of... Spe stick of destiny? Stick of truth? What the hell is it called? Stick of truth, yeah, it is. Uh, yeah, I guess similar to that. Just obviously a much different flavor, but... Probably similar... Similar enough to that. I mean, stick of truth is, like... 2D, but this is obviously 3D, but yeah, same, same thing. Yeah, like South Park 64. <laughs> that's a, that's a fun, South Park 64 is a pretty fun game if you play it with all the cheats turned on. If you don't have to worry about, you know, the actual game part of it, it's pretty fun. It's entertaining. Yes, the fractured butthole, I mean, the fractured butthole is the superhero one that came out, I don't know, what was it, like a year, year ago? Um, I have not even touched that one yet. I've only played, I've started a new file on the Stick of Truth like two or three times to just like show people the game, but I've never gotten more than like a half hour into it. That's a game one of these days I have to actually like go all the way through. It's a game I would love to stream as well, but I'm gonna have to look into that. I don't know if Twitch has banned that game, or if certain platforms are not okay with it. I mean, I knew there are, I know there are bits of nudity in there, I don't think that would typically fly. Maybe I should play the Australian version. It has all the good stuff cut out. I did all this business, right? Right? So you're saying you watched a, a series of videos on YouTube where a guy, I guess, played through the game? And, uh, he still was monetized, no problem. 
Yep. I guess they can't catch them all. But yeah, I think broken is a pretty good term to use. I don't know. Is broken even the right word? Broken implies that it was ever working correctly to begin with. I don't think YouTube's ever gotten there. Not since the uh, Google acquisition. To say broken implies it was once fixed. And that it was not. It's just a series of used band-aids, chewing gum, and scotch tape. Just praying to God this thing stays together. Neat. I farmed what? Like almost, I feel like almost 200 coins here already. YouTube is wrong. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, I'm just still hoping and waiting for a new video service to come out that can actually compete with YouTube. I think, ironically, to make YouTube better, I think what it needs right now is competition. What it needs is someone threatening to take away its views that will force YouTube to step up their game and do all the things they promised they would do and do all the things that we've been asking them to do that they will never do. I think they just need a swift kick in the ass to get moving. They can, YouTube can be great. Absolutely amazing, but does not seem to be in their current interest. Whatever, I don't run the company. I'm just a loyal consumer. Sorry if this part of the game is a little bit boring. Definitely not very action heavy. I'm just kind of doing exploration exploration stuff. Honestly thought I'd be finding more, but I think there's still a little bit left. Yeah, the environment of this game is, is very pretty, very imaginative. The colors are great. The graphics are nice and smooth. I am really impressed with uh, the visual aesthetic of this game. Yes. Oh. <laughs> yeah, once you hit send, that's it, buddy. <laughs> it's in stone. Where am I now? Put me back. Put me back this instant. I just respawned the coins. Exploitable. Sure. Okay. Puzzly thing. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. A genius. My brain is so big it hurts because it's swelling into the inside of my skull. The hidden bridge. Okay, yes, this is the hidden level area. Licking and liking is hard to differentiate. Never thought about it like that, but yeah, it's only like one letter off. Yeah, if you say you lick something, it has a much different context than if you like something. I'm okay if you like me. Not quite sure if I'll be okay if you lick me. Oh. 
All right, they've got some resistance here. So what are we looking at? One, two in the immediate area. Got two on the perch. One on a mid-level perch. Got a uh, brute smasher over here. All right, so I think strategy is gonna obviously take out these two guys first. Maybe try to knock these guys out also as quick as possible. They they have a height advantage, which gives them a da uh, a, da a damage buff when I'm down below. Yeah, I'm. I really appreciate the atmosphere of this game. Very visually appealing. Okay. Well, this shouldn't be too bad. I say. Can I hit him? No. Completely obscured. All right. Well, they're just gonna st try to stay hidden behind those blocks unless they move. I think my move is to chase them down. Or, I have another idea. This one might be getting a little exotic. Let's see if it works. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm really liking the atmosphere of the game, gamer girl. Alright. Top off of you. To, uh, I wonder if Mario was closer, if that would work. Eh, let's try. For science. Yeah, this game, this game is brutal, man. Let's see. I hate this isometric shit. I just want to look from a flat 90 degree angle. I think that's right. Let's see if this works. No, they will not let me do that. Okay. Thought I could just skip right to that top section early, rather than climbing around. Smash Bros. 9. <laughs> I suppose if you give it another 20 years or so, we'll be on Smash 9. Now that I'm changing strategy. Oh yeah, look at that. Looks like they've uh, loosened their noose on Die. Die. Ooh, this might be a nice shot. Yeah, yeah. Kill. 
is kill. Well, you can take a shot too. Uh, only one target. Alright, pass an ad. Mario might be taking a hit. <clears throat> nah, let's go for him instead. I like that. Was sick. Vin Diesel. All right. Um. What's he at? Thirty-four. Yes, explosion is another word for Michael Bay. How did you know? Fine, be like that. Mixer the streaming platform. I didn't expect that. Ow! You strong! Glad you're uh, still enjoying it. I mean, it's kind of hard to explain everything, but basically each turn, each of my characters, Mario, Luigi, and Rabbit Luigi, each have a movement option. On the left, they have one of two um, combat options, and on the right, they have um, a special move or signature move. 
So I can do um, any of those three per turn in order to whittle down the enemy's health. I'm glad you're at least enjoying it. Like I said, I mean, visually, it's at least appealing. IMO. Nobody's got a shot. I'm about that. What's that all about? Not attacking? Had their chance. What's Mario's health? Okay, he's good. Yes. Yeah, you know, I really do like that popping off your friend's ability. It's not just flashy looking, but tactically it's a really good idea. Yeah, I mean, I haven't played every single game with rabbits in it, but it might be one of their more, um, dare I say, intelligent appearances. and get some. It's on the run. Ho -ho! Yeah, cover mechanics. It's surprisingly deep. Beat it in the five of five turns. That was that was close. Triple uh, A battery or triple A game? Um, I would say this is a triple A game. It's made made by Nintendo and Ubisoft. I mean, those are both triple A developers in my eyes. So, yeah, this is a triple A game. Alright, let me see if there's a treasure on the other end of this business. Wow. Mad loot. Okay, yeah, if you beat a battle within a certain amount of turns, you'll get a bonus. And if you sur beat, the, uh, beat the mission with all three of your teammates alive, you get even more bonus. So, I did it. Oh, there's another. Okay, and a mini boss? Alright. <laughs> Percept. Uh, what is this? Where'd I go to? Okay, this is back here. Okay. Well, 
I'm a little turned around. That's what I just did. I guess that's where I came from. And then, okay. Then I could fight that battle, or I could do... Okay, I have to come from the other side. Alright. Yeah, I don't know how you did that one, man. Alright, I'm about to peel off for one sec, taking a very short break. Uh, my buddy, my buddy and, and friend of the show, uh, Bad Need, stopped by real quick, so... I'm gonna see if I can pull him in, maybe get a random multiplayer in, that would be something different. I have no way of playing multiplayer by myself right now, so... Forgive me for a sec. I'm about to run away, I'll be back as soon as possible. As usual. Whoop. Right, real quick. Okie dokie. Hello guys, we are back with Bad Nade in the house. Hey stream, how you doing? You may have seen him seen him in chat every here and there. I th no, I had the I think I had you on once. Did we play I, Castlevania once? I might have slipped in once, maybe twice at most. Yeah. Well, he's never played Mario vs. Rabbit, so... For a moment. But I've heard really, really, really good things. Yeah, I, I am enjoying this game so far. Uh, Marks is in chat here. He, he's, I think, getting mostly his first exposure. It's a really pretty game. Like, the graphics are really nice and imaginative and all that. Well, you gotta hand it to Nintendo. When it comes to Mario, they definitely make it good. Even before Mario 64, it's a good, uh, good, good bit of eye candy. Right. They, Nintendo is always knowing how to get the most, squeeze the most polish out of their hardware. Yep. I don't know what proprietary secrets they don't tell anybody else, but... Or, you know, Japanese people working overtime all the time. I think that's probably a, <laughs> more than a small factor. But the dedication ship? Right. I think this is it? Okay. Uh, let's see. So normally, uh, in... When we're playing one player or versus, we each control a team of three characters. This looks like... Since we're playing co-op, we each get two characters, so we actually get, I guess, more characters net effectively. Uh... And unlock campaigns? Okay. Now, this is like, um... Ah, uh, the joys of connecting Joy-Cons. There we go. Uh... What were you saying, though? Uh, so this is like XCOM, and I did, uh, XCOM. The move. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, you have one, one move, one, one attack, and one special move. So you have three possible things you could do with each character. Okay. In, in any order. Oh, so you can attack and then move? Yeah. Okay, that is a dynamic. <laughs> yeah, that threw me off. I was like, alright, well, if I move, I can't, or if I attack, I can't move. No, you can... Use them all in any order. So, interesting. Hey, Shadow Predator, welcome back. Talk to that sword and shield. I didn't notice that. On a Pokemon. Po Pokemon. So, defeat all in the boot camp. Get back to basics while you clear the battlefield of all enemies. Hint target enemies behind covert, covert co cover points to neutralize them. Eat. Just do easy first. So I guess we. I guess I only have four characters unlocked, but you can choose the two you want. I think Mario is all around. Luigi has. Oh, I guess there's info. Okay. I think Luigi has lower health, but more interesting abilities. He's more of a sniper. 
Actually, all four characters are pretty different. I think Rabbit, Peach, and Mario are the most similar. If you have any questions, let me know. Destiny 2 to competition. Nice. Uh, game's going well. I uh, played a little bit of this Monday. Got through World 1, so... Today I'm just seeing how much further I can get. Right now, uh... Bad Nade popped over. We're gonna try some co-op mode. I've never tried that in this game. But I am enjoying it quite a bit so far. And yeah, Mark, the, the music is familiar. Yeah. I recognize that. I recognize that melody anywhere. I will go classic Nintendo. This one. Good old brothers. Can I pick doubles? No. Womp. Loud noise is Four, six bogeys. Take your first turn. Huh. Okay. Is ending your turn, not giving a delay. Right. Okay, so normally you would just press Y to pass your turn to the enemy, so I guess in this case Y is pass it to your friend and hold Y to end right. turn. We can avoid them going in. Okay, so I'm just gonna kinda get a look at what's going on, so right, I got one character here, the other here, yours are here and here. Okay. Uh, you, you can go through the pipes to fast warp around. Uh, you get cover by standing behind blocks. Blocks destructible? Uh, yeah, the, the brick-looking ones, yes. Uh, there, there are no metal ones here, but metal ones can't be destroyed. And then there are these push cover blocks, which when, when they're destroyed, they push enemies out radially. Okay. Also, uh, enemies have height advantage, so... Since this guy is higher than us, he will deal us more damage if he strikes. So okay. That's Does he something. have more range as well? I don't think he has more range. Um, but it's also got to be a thing where he's got to be close enough to the edge to angle down. Okay, so some line of sight rules. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm still figuring out the, the line of sight thing. Alright. So we got, in the middle there, our move function. On the left two are two, one, we can only use one of the two different attack options, and then there are two special move options to choose from. Uh, so, first thing first, I think I'll hop off of your head. That's a mechanic. Jump up here. Doing this all Yep. And now I can just get a clean shot on him. Oh, I can take him out one shot. Gonna hurt me. Should have thought this through. Are you where does this? Um, the highlighted part of the health meter. Let's see. So, yeah, right now I have it set to the thing that that's like a bomb. So a little bit of my health bar here is blinking, showing what I will theoretically lose. Versus my gun will only hit the enemy, but it won't full kill in one shot. Uh, but I think I'll do that anyway. And there are elemental- oh, one, one shot at him. There are some elemental properties. That was a honey shot, so he can't move. Like, run from the spot. Uh. See, now if I pass it to you without using one of my characters... I wonder if it can go back to me, or if, like, I'm just done. I, I assume I'm, like, done with my turn if I pass it to you. Well, it is the first turn. Why don't we go ahead and experiment? Sure. Alright. Oh! Uh, Ask you what you want. So, team two. 
Alright. Now I can probably jump off of your head. Here. Mm-hmm. Have a gun and it. Hammers melee, you have to be standing within like one square of them, but it deals more damage than the gun. And can I do diagonals around the corner? That's I'm fine. I'm fairly certain like if it's a one block radius. Oh, you should cool, the rabbits who don't jump off. Uh then it, you could use the ZL or I just use D-pad. Bowser Basher on the corner. Yep. No, that doesn't. Nope. It'll one-shot the enemy because his whole health bar. I think that that's also a, the X is usually a symbol that you're killing him in that hit. Um, the little target is 100%, so 100% chance, but if an enemy, if he's standing behind low cover and you want to shoot at him, he might have, like, 50% hit. So um, it appears that the corner cover doesn't affect me. No. At least in, I guess, a melee context. And now his two special modes are Hero Sight. If you activate Hero Sight, that means when it's the enemy's turn, if any enemies are walking within line of sight of Mario, Mario will auto-shoot them. That's that, uh, green outline. Yes, that is the effective range. If any any enemy walks within any of these green spots, you will auto-pick them off. Exactly. Empower, here's an ring. Plus 20. Right. I'll go ahead and... <laughs> Luigi. Here, right? So, how do I go in this? Uh, forgive me if there's a little background noise. I turned off the noise gate so Bad Nade can actually get picked up on the mic. I'm sorry, you were saying? Uh, uh, so, if I go through this tube, it's going to spit me out over here, right? Yep, at that end piece. And I go through by just clicking down this square? Yep. And and you're not committed to the move yet, oh. so it gives you an example, but you're not committed to it until you fully select it. Oh, okay, that's that's... That's good. That's pretty good. Might you be able to go through that second pipe? I don't know. Yeah, you have range. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wow, that's a big move. Okay. Just in case, I'll go into cover. You're booking it. Wow. All right, we've got Boom Broom, which is, I guess, a sniper, and his other thing is like a. A bomb on wheels, and you can select which enemy to send it towards. Ah, but it doesn't like let me like pick a specific square. No, it's very, it's very particular. It doesn't let you kind of go around the map and play around. It's like these are your targets. That's it. And I feel like it's a little limiting, especially for a strategy. If I just need to get more visual, but it's fine. So I think that last place you were aiming at, I'm a. I think this one, this is, I, I assume the red line is the path the bomb will take this turn, and the white part of the line at the end is, like, next turn it moves. Ah. That's what I'm gathering. Well, let's find out. Let's do that and see what happens. Because I know it definitely keeps traveling until it reaches its destination. Yeah, so now I guess if any enemies in within that range, they'll just blow up. Okay, so I did leave myself exposed to this one guy. Uh, Steely Stare when triggered, 8 to 12... It's basically the exact same thing as Mario, just with slightly different stats. Yeah. Let's do that. It's a good, it's a good uh, fallback. Oh, look at that! I have control, so. All right, so it does go back to you if you skip your turn. Okay. So we can just bounce back and forth, prioritizing who needs to do what and which order. Right. That's good. I was, I was hoping it would be like that. Nice. Yeah, let's just ruin his day. Oh, oh nice. comboed! <laughs> okay, nice. All right. So push triggers overwatch. Got it. Oh, yeah, because he's forcibly moving, yeah. So then you pick him off mid-hit, then we threw him off the edge. Nice. And what was our... All right, we got... Oh, that's you? All right. Wait. Yeah, we're good. Oh, no. oh 
no. Any rain. Oh, we can shoot the bomb. Right. All right. Though they're probably just wasting their shots on it because it's going to reach one of them. Ah, eh, maybe not. Maybe they'll get it. Okay, so we got two bunch. Oh, big movements. Big moves. Spoke too soon. Alright, well, like, I'm pretty sure I can take him out at least, right? What? Yeah, I can one shot him. Critical! Honey! Golden shower! Oh, you don't even have to move, you just gotta mouse over the yep. coins? <laughs> also, I've got there's an ability where when you're moving, you can select to basically slide tackle an opponent and then continue running away. So you can get like a quick cheap shot on him, run away into cover, then shoot him still. Okay. Uh, which I'll do. I mean, it looks like I'll deal a lot of damage to him. Then just dip right out. What? Oh. Wait, what happened? You went through the pipe. Okay, yeah. Into cover, yes. Where are the enemies? Is it just the one? There's one on our side and then... Oh, okay. Yeah. I was going to do a sick jump. Eh, that, I, can, I can still do a sick jump. Face! Oh. Didn't know you could do that. Throw a shield on. Alright, pass into you. Alright, now can I pick the bomb or. No, I, I think it's on some... auto travel for the most part. And your special weapons and special abilities have a certain ten rounds worth of cooldown. Well, I would. Oh, I'd say, don't forget to yeah, slide tackle him first, then run to the corner. Ah, uh, yes. You'll get him, no problem. Crit, honey, done. Nice. Okay. Yeah, I remember when this first came out, Total Biscuit, may he rest in peace, gave this such great reviews. And, like, that's a guy who, like, got down with some XCOM and, like, was not going to, was not going to mess around going ahead and bashing this if it wasn't worth it. And he said such great things about it, and it was such a fantastic game. I was like, man, all right, I'll give it a shot. I don't play Nintendo. I don't play Mario. I'm not into that thing. I will totally check this out. Right. Just never got around to it. Yeah, that's one of those, like, I've had it for a while. I think I played uh, the multiplayer, like, uh, Steam Bag and I did that, like, months ago. Just played the multiplayer for a night to check it out. And we're like, okay, this is neat. But I finally, like, got around to sinking my teeth into it the other day. And I don't know if I, I mentioned earlier, but, like, the main game is... I thought the main game would be kind of just, like, mission after mission like this. But there's actually, like, an overworld to it that you get to run around and explore. Typical Mario. But a little bit more fleshed out than I expected. But it was really, it's really, like, seamless. It's not like you go into the battle area and then you're just transported to another arena. Like, mm -hmm. the arena is the overworld that they just throw a grid over and say fight. So it's a really seamless into the battle. And when the battle ends, you're just in an empty battlefield and you keep walking. Okay. So, I like the way they did that. New co-op modes. New co-op challenges. Okay. We did the thing. We did do the thing.
so we have challenge two. Okay, this is a get to the finish line mission, I think. All right, let's do it. Yeah, I'm fine with same characters. Yeah, I'll, I'll run it back. I like that little 2D animated rabid. I feel like it's so rare to, I was mentioned earlier, I feel like it's so rare to see like hand drawn animation in games anymore. I mean you have Cuphead, which would be Nah, that entire thing yeah. is Have you seen the uh the ripoff of Cuphead? I think I've heard of at least one yeah, clone like, game. It, it's awkward because it's a ripoff, but it's literally just the same levels and the same patterns and the same old nine. But again, someone went through and hand drew all the animations and did a fantastic job. So the person that saw reviewing was like, I don't know whether to hate this or to love it, because it really has all the care and love of the artwork. But then again, it's just a Cuphead ripoff. So I don't know whether they're being lazy and stealing content or right. actually developing their own thing and doing it with like a mod and different characters. Either way, they're both gorgeous. Like, good job on the art, the gameplay, yeah. it's like... Where do I give the how much credit do I give? Right, it was literally just like, hey, this is what Cuphead did. We're gonna do that. We're just gonna do it with our own stuff. Right. Yeah. I'll have to peep it out. Okay, so we each have our own destinations, and we only need one of our two team members to reach it. Okay, we both need to get one there. A lot of pipes. Not too many enemies. Looks like three on each side. And then I'm blue, right? Yeah. Alright, I'm just gonna book it. How did you get the jump thing to come up? Um. You clicked on your own dude? Yeah, uh, the okay. yellow ring that appears. Over there, just right. click on click that. On me. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Alternative strategy. First, then go. There we go. Someone can take him out easy. Never mind. <laughs> Already done. Hello, Dimart or Dmart. How are you? Kmart, like in Kmart, but more... Right. <laughs> or it's like a German thing, I don't know. D-Mart? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'll, uh, I'll throw it to you. I'll, I'll move one character, you move one, then we'll play from there. Um, I'm gonna do the exact same thing you did. Hopefully his pistol has enough to take it out. Zero percent chance to hit. To hit the enemy, but you will be hitting the box. Okay, okay. Oh yeah, I guess it doesn't take much. Is he dead? He's not dead. Okay. So but, jump on you, head over here, get the cover. Or before you jump on the head, slide tackle him, then jump on your friend's head. Slide tackle that. Now does that use up some of my movement? Nope, as no. long as you've got range to move. You can actually move a lot in this uh, game. Right. Well, we'll go to cover there. Okay. Yeah. I like the rabbits don't let you top on their head, they just mm -hmm. kick back and. Yeah. <laughs> in and then hero sight. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll go ahead. Mario yeah, can't hurt. <laughs> Overwatch protection. Now, you're up there, so I can't jump off your head, so there's no way to get up there. So there's a dude there, I can hopefully knock him off. Let's go into cover here. Okay. Oh -ho. I love how you can push him out of bounds. I'm sure that's I'm sure I'm not gonna love it later on in the game when enemies are using it against me, but yep. And you're up. 
just a basic run. I'm good. I don't, do you have any? I think you, all your characters are set. Mine, yeah, we're done. Let them have their turn. Oh, oh no, you don't. Know. Now he's gonna. Oh, I thought he was gonna step out and Mario was gonna get him. That would've been so funny. There. Oh, and these uh, rabbit ears coming out of the ground mean enemies are slowly spawning, so next turn there will be more. Okay. Let's see. Well, from there, all you can do is jump down either side. Oh, you can't jump across the gap. No. So, I'm thinking for coverage reasons, I'll pop through this pipe. I'm gonna get as far as I can, but hopefully within range for you to jump on my head and get like a extra jump off of that. Uh, nope, no, no, no. Can I pull up your? Okay. I can make it to so you have that second pipe. Six cells of movement. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Does it count diagonals? Man, I'm still figuring that out. How much movement does my character have? Um, six, six cells seven. of movement, but or is it coming out of a pipe? I have three cells of movement. So one, two, two. I don't know if I have like m movements left over from before I went in the pipe. I'm still figuring out the exact how they divide okay. up moves. So if you come out the pipe, that's gonna count as your. your one square, so then you get three after that. Oh, yeah. You get two. two diagonals that way, so it doesn't count diagonals. It's like fifth edition. <laughs> so I bet you could go into that second pipe and get another three squares out the back end of that second pipe. Right. Well, I'm not necessarily looking to go too far on this side, because right. this is your station, so I want to stay in range for you to hop off my head for extra movement. Alright, let's assume this is the furthest you can go. Then you're down there. Alright, I'll let you do your thing. Maybe move Luigi a little bit up, so, if you can, so I can use my character to jump off of his head. Let me just look at this real quick. Yeah. Alright, so Mario. One, two, three. Right. Looks so like you need to move like at least eight. Three, four, five, six, seven. Alright, so it's definitely not counting diagonals. I can move straight to there. I can hop off your head and get over to there. Slightly further. Uh, that, oh, that's even further. Alright, I should have just ran. Alright, I'll get to here and get the cover. Anything. I can. Oh, yeah. Oh, I probably should have targeted the box. Yeah. I wasn't sure if that was doable. Uh, heroes in range get 20% weapon damage, no one's in range. So, we're just gonna skip. And now, where do you want my guy? Like, right here? Um, let's see. If I'm up there, one, two, one, two, three, then down. Four, five, six, somewhere maybe in that area. Well, let's try here. Oh, and you can still take a shot at him. There we go. Uh, switch 
Yep, oh, just the Y. Is that the switch sound? Yes. Like from the commercials? Yes. Leave it to Nintendo. Right. To be fair, of all like the gaming sounds that I think was some of the best marketing, like implant your brain, the original PSX, that uh, that was like hands down one of those like sounds that as soon as you heard it, you're like, oh, game time, gotta go. Right. <laughs> that is an iconic sound. Like yeah. when you hear that, it's like, oh, that's PlayStation. And like, you know, people talk about it, like, oh yeah, I remember how what Sega used to sound like. But like, if everyone ever turns on a PSX, like that sound just makes me like shiver. I'm like, oh yes, the good days of gaming. <laughs> Yeah, it is super nostalgic. <laughs> it's kind of like some of the, like, Windows 98 startup screen, like some of those Windows right, startup screens, right. like, they're just ground into your head and they're pleasant sounding, it means the thing's turning on, that's, that's good news. Uh, targets are out of sight. Ooh. Out of sight! Well, I'll nerf you in the meantime, how about that? Did I do anything? Yeah, I did. Okay, we're done here. <laughs> What's happening? Luigi <laughs> catching one in the face. We're all taking it. I mean, I think this should be the last round anyway. Yeah. Oh, you pushed yourself. Oh, no. I mean, it's not auto-dead. I think I just took damage, but... I'm in range. Don't mind if I do. Let's see, do I have any shots? No. Sure. All that fancy stuff. Yeah, yeah. Call me when you get there. Nice, and now we can do hard mode on that. Maybe later. Once I I was saying earlier, there's a lot of there's a lot of weapons to buy in this game, and some characters are and I mean by like maybe twenty or so, but it's like per character. And certain characters have, like, secondary weapons to okay. also buy. And just at the start of the game, most of the weapons are, like, five to seven hundred coins a pop. And I'm sure they get more expensive. And I'm oh, at, like, okay. two grand coins, so I can only, like, buy a couple weapons. So I'm just gonna, like, stock up, buy all the good stuff later, then go back to the early missions and wipe them out. Because there's no point doing hard mode now when I can just get, come back with better weapons later. Right. All right, four missions. Okay, this looks like another get to the end mission. Uh, Want to try the rabbits? Sure. Actually, I'll, I'll double up on Luigi's. There we go. Now I got the mutant couple. So what are the rabbit's names? It's just like Rabbit Peach or Princess yep, Rabbit? Yep, <laughs> Rabbit Peach, Rabbit Mario, Rabbit Luigi. Okay. 
I don't think they've ever been assigned names. Expecting like Rabbit Luigi to just be like, rah, you know, like Wild Luigi, but Rabbit. right. I was hoping they'd come up with something a little more clever than Rabbit Peach, Rabbit Luigi, but whatever. At that point, it, it almost feels like Echo characters from Smash or something. All right, so we got two dudes. Ooh, this one's actually not symmetrical. Okay. Wow, alright. Here's the other set. Alright, so it is symmetrical, I think. Yeah. So we got two in the mid. So two two near, two mid, two far. Well actually four near. Be the fastest way. All right. I don't think this barrier can be, or the canyon can be crossed. Maybe by jumping off a friend's head, but that looks pretty far. Oh, I didn't see that dude over there. I forgot already. It's fine. I still think unless he moves back a square, he's still get partial cover. Yeah. Oh, that was just an instant. I also pick. hit that at the exact same time, so that might have been. A wow. <laughs> I thought maybe last mission it was just like tutorial, like, are you sure? Yeah, maybe if we hit it close enough to the same time, it really is just like. You can use L or R to switch between your characters. Uh, I think the close ones. Yeah. Now, why is that? What do I see in here? Okay, I'm doing weaker. Okay, that's not what Ooh, double push. Nice. Take down. Super barrier and we can what we can. And then I'll pass it back to you. Oh, I guess it's I think I must have hit Y just a split second before you hit Y. Yeah, let's try. Three, two, one. Oh, well, yeah. On one, then. <laughs> Three, two, one. Uh, Bro, it's my turn. You you click? Okay. Huh. Wait, you you, you try click? Oh, yeah, okay. So I'm clicking. Yeah. So oh, so, so maybe if I hold it. Okay. Okay. Just perfect timing the last time, that's all. Yeah, that's... Uncanny. <laughs> uh, let's see if I can give you some sort of alley oop. Yeah, so here I have no an improper angle. So I from down there. Yeah. yeah, so I can't hit that enemy. And bombs can't jump or nothing, I assume. Um, I think they can go through pipes, but they can't jump, no. No dice.
Station. Um, closer to the camera, I think, on that platform. Is that him? Yeah, there's one there. If that's the one you were thinking of. I think it was. So I'll run over here, get my cover. Yahoo! <laughs> That'll kill him. Ah, uh, you're right. Ah, uh, that steely stare. Sure. I'm a wiener. I'm a wiener. <laughs> Bitch ass. So, chat, any uh, tricks of the trade you know about this game we should know about? Any, uh... Cheat codes, secrets, little things we uh, probably are missing. We'll see. I mean, I feel like most of the people who have been rolling through my chat have little to no experience with this game. I feel like there are a lot of people who just never played it. That makes it a family plot, then, doesn't it? Yeah. Like, I don't know what the sales figures were for this game, but I feel like it's one of those games where, like, everybody was... I think I was mentioning this last stream. Everybody was super interested when it was announced. Like, Rabbids and Mario together? What kind of game is this? We And then once it finally came out, we were like, oh, okay, now we get it. And then everyone forgot about it. Well, like I said, when it came out, uh, the people that I watched on YouTube, you know, Total Biscuit, uh, Jesse Todd, a whole bunch of other people, they all, they sunk a lot of hours into it. Like, right. Yeah. Very quickly, they were turning around and be like, this is how many hours I played XCOM. This is how many hours I played Raving Rabbits. <laughs> I'm sorry. You know, like, yeah. <laughs> I didn't mean to do <laughs> <yeah>. this. <laughs> you know, 500 hours, that's up quick when you're really getting into it. Wow, 500 hours? Well, I remember Total Biscuit was, you know, on his first week, he was just like, well, this is just great because, you know, I, I get into bed with the wife, and before we go to bed, and I just click on the Switch, and I start playing and hanging out, and I don't have to beat the computer, and blah, blah, blah. So he was basically turning around and be like, oh, crap, 6 a.m., I better turn this off and go to bed. Yeah. And you do that, you know, four days out of the week, and all of a sudden you're up to, you know, you know five hours at a clip, and you're just like, well, I should have been sleeping, but instead I unlocked a thingy. Right. So I remember him very 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 rapidly being like this has sucked up my life and i need to find a new game before <laughs> i lose my lose my marriage you know like the other day i spent about five hours on the game and i only got through world one plus like the intro and tutorial stuff and i think there's only like four or five worlds in the game so i'm like all right i can move through this pretty quick but then like each world has a new set of challenges open up so it's like each world has twice as many things to do so I was starting to see towards the end, like, all right, I can see how they're spiraling, like, a lot of missions at me. Well, also, it, and again, I haven't played it past, you know, one game yet, but typical to, uh, I guess, the Asian influence style of, of game, if you can beat it quickly, but there's a lot of depth there, so you can replay it and replay it and replay it. Just upon first impression, you know, five hours in XCOM doesn't get you too far. Right. But I bet you could do, get pretty far in five hours of this and get a lot of reward out of that. Yeah. It makes you keep wanting to come back. And you may have, you know, still stuff to get at 500 hours, whereas in XCOM, if you're at 500 hours, you've probably beaten the game twice and you've seen every weapon and seen every enemy. Leveled and, everything up. Right, you know, you've probably... You're enjoying the game, but you've probably seen it all has to provide. Whereas right. a game like this, or like a, a Earth Defense Force, or the or even Monster Hunter World, those, those I don't even know how to call it, but the, the multi-grind games where you can see the whole game very quickly. Yeah, but yeah. But you can't play the whole game at all very quickly. Yeah, that's what it's kind of like saying with the the weapons. Like, it'll take me a while to see all the weapons. Right, just just because you have to go through enough games to buy them. And... Exactly, yeah. That's what it literally, it's like, just play the game enough to be able to afford them. Yeah, that JR, JRPG influence of, you know, there's plot line and then there's game mechanic and you can you can dedicate a lot of time just unlocking more game mechanics and getting more uh, depth and expansion to the game. Mm -hmm. It's like Dynasty Warriors. You can beat Dynasty Warriors in like a couple hours flat depending on which game it is. But right. Man, 
you're not gonna you're not a completionist in Dynasty Warriors until you've put a couple hundred hours into it. Yeah, seriously. Alright, I'm kinda landlocked here. You're up there. Uh, just pass off to me, I'll see if I can move closer to you. Get well, you a jump point. Well, this is your side anyway, so I think I'm gonna just shift over here, get into cover, give you maybe a jump off spot. I wonder if you could bomb both those guys. That's what I was thinking. Uh, it's not gonna be one turn. They're gonna run. Do I have my other guy? Alright. Right, pass it to you then. Just grab that coin. No, you cannot jump. Go to the pipe. Pop off your head. Okay. Any cover down here? Yes. Pop down into cover. Wow! Oh, okay, so Mario does the same thing for kicking you in the air. Alright. Yeah, they all have their little animations. Wait, who's, who's shooting your bomb an option? Uh, yeah, so we can sabotage our own bomb to preemptively set it off. Well, this guy is exposed to you, so I'm gonna go ahead and put a little oh, damage in. <laughs> <laughs> Fucks his face up. Now is that gonna? No, that's not gonna blow your bomb. All right, well, let's try that. Yeah. Send him on the run. It did hit your bomb. All right. But maybe not enough to destroy it. And I'll super barrier. Bastard! Bastard! I don't know what Shell. he says. Oh, I can't even hop down from here. Oh, is that because I'm blocking your way? Nope. Uh, the places you can jump down from, let me see. Well, there's there's obvious, like, green ledges. Well, there might not be any on this map. I did see one a moment ago. Yeah. Alright. So That's I can fine. only hop down because I hopped off your head. Yes. Yeah, jumping off ahead can allow you to, like, get up or down places you normally couldn't. No quicker way? Eh, I guess that's what they designed. Can I power you up? No. Can I shoot? No. Is that you there? Let's throw a superfluous health out there. Mirage Leonardo 84 thank you very much for following. I appreciate that. If you have any questions about anything, feel free to shout them out. Um, this is me, right? Yeah. Yes. You were done with your characters, right? Yes. Did I get another follow recently? I thought I was that up to 44, not 45. Dashboard is quite unfamiliar. I wouldn't even know where to look. <laughs> well, I'm looking right here on the physical screen. It's like tiny as fuck for you, but this game is so underrated. I hope we get a sequel. Well, I've played two games of it so far, and I already can say, yeah, it's, it's, if XCOM can have a sequel, this probably should too. Hey, intense statue. Thank you very much for the sparks. Sucks you can't watch. I understand it's work, but. Best of luck at work. Don't work too hard. No, what am I saying? We're American. Work hard. Build the foundation for a new tomorrow. <laughs> my cynical butt quiet. 
Respect, brother. Yeah, Popeye, uh, if you're around Friday, uh, statue, I'll be doing another, uh, Ocarina of Time randomizer. That'll be another late one, so. Hopefully you'll be available for that. You've been my wingman, li wingman lately. I like that name, Intense Status 42. He, he's read some atoms, I, I like it. Well, it's Statue. Statue? Yeah, see? Intense Statue. Okay, well, I'm like, just blind. Again, can't, can't quite see that far. Well, like I said, the text is far from where you are. Intense Statue 42. Alright, well, that's, there's, there's a joke in there as well. Yeah. And yeah, as far as uh, Mirage Leonardo goes, I mean, they the game already had a uh, DLC full like DLC Donkey Kong expansion, so they already added more onto the game, so that's a good sign. I think everything's been selling pretty well. And it, it really does have fantastic reviews. I have not had one person say don't buy this game. Yeah, I haven't heard anybody like shit on this game. If anybody, everybody's like pleasantly surprised by how decent it is. Again, I'm not a Nintendo guy, so it's not really up my alley, but if I had a Switch, I would definitely be on board with this. Yeah, it's in the wheelhouse of yeah. the tactical. I've thrown so many hours at XCOM, like, such a quality game, and to have uh, a little bit more of a lightheaded, hearted fare. Right, this isn't so yeah. intense. Mario doesn't die when you screw up forever. <laughs> Or I was comparing it, this game a little bit to, like, Fire Emblem the other day, but, like, not as intense. Like, Fire Emblem, your character does, your, dies, might as well just start the map over. Yep. But here, it's like, it's a little more forgiving. Mirage, you met Charles Martinet, the voice of Mario at Comic-Con a few years ago. That's awesome, dude. One day, I hope to meet Charles Martinet one day. That, that would be nice. And he, he always looks like a super nice guy, so... That's dope. Man, that jump on the head really extends your range. Yeah, I, I'm surprised. Like, that's a walk distance, pretty much. Yo. Fly, my brother. Uh, let's see, actually, where you're there. Pop around to like. Hopefully, you'll be able to reach me here. Well, if you pass it to me, I can move my Luigi up into semi cover right over there, and then I bet you can bounce on my head and get a lot farther. Well, if anything, I'm trying to give you the bounce, because I want, like, maybe your player to be further ahead on this side, and my player to be further ahead on that side, so we can reach about the same time. Well, then I would go into the soft cover in that lifted corner over there. Like here? Yeah, because that gives you partial cover, and I can bounce across, I bet. True. Uh, no, there's not a lot of opposition that I'm worried about. I don't mind stick like standing out in the open. Ah! <laughs> oh. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't have been able to get to you in the corner anyway. Yeah. All right. So if I go to hard cover, well, there's not a lot here. Like I like said. Over here. I don't think I can shoot anything. Maybe. <laughs> Swing and a miss. Solid pipe. Solid jump. Yeah, that's that's solid. Oh! Ho! Pimp Daddy Luigi over here. Now I'll just finish him off. And a miss. You're a retro defender. Oh, yes. Um, well, can't do anything with it. You can't? Um, well, I can only target that guy, and there's a 100% chance it, the pipe's blocking it, uh, so. So it's not even full cover, that's total cover. Yeah, and unbreakable. What would I like the next big Mario game to be? That's a good question. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna throw out a little blasphemy and say I have not yet gotten around to Super Mario Odyssey yet, so I can't quite say if I'd like a, an Odyssey too. I do have Odyssey. That's that's one of those games I plan on playing on stream sooner than later. So I can't quite speak for Odyssey yet. Um, I loved both the Galaxy games, um, but I I'm not quite sure if going back to the Mar the Galaxy formula is the way to go right now. Um, so probably just something completely new, or, I mean, if you make it in the, in the vein of Super Mario 64, I'm never gonna get mad, so. Those are big rabbits. Yeah, those are smashers, I think they're called. They only have a four block walk radius, which means they can't walk very far. However, if whenever they are attacked or even counterattacked, they will immediately run towards whoever attacked them four squares. Okay. So... Optimally, you can have both players mad far apart and just kind of ping pong at him in between, like baseball. Oh, Mirage, going to your question, my intake is I love that Mario comes out with not a gimmick, but a new mechanic every time, like 64. Hey, it's in yeah. 3D now. And then you have uh, Galaxy, where you, know, you run around a bunch of orbs and they all kind of play a little differently. You have the sphere, the sphere aspect going on. And then you've got the hat thing going on. You've got the uh, uh, the water the water pump. Yeah, yeah. They all have this different, interesting mechanic, and I can't honestly say what would be a good follow up mechanic. Uh, but I know this, like, I imagine it would probably be something a little toward the lines of multiple characters at this point. Like, even if you went back to the old 2D side scroller, I would bet that they not bet, but I would assume that there would be some sort of interactive with other player characters, either that or just some other crazy mechanic that we, of course, haven't thought of. You know, like Ninja Mario, and he throws the stars instead of turning invisible or something like that. But uh, they do always have a, a nice, tight gameplay mechanic that they figure out a way to exploit in multiple different ways and build upon itself to become more complex and challenging. And now that we've got Mario Maker, like the 2D side scroll like Mario is just out of this world. Like, you did yeah. so hard. Mario so Maker advanced. killed any prospect of a new 2D Mario game right, because the right. people made them already. Right, so I, I really think your classic take on a side scrolling like Mario is probably gone unless you did something like Link, Legend of the Four Souls. Or, not Four Souls, uh, Four Swords. Oh, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. You have, like, this multiple, you know, Mario does one thing, Peach does another thing, and depending on where you go in the map in what order... You might end up finding yourself going, oh, I really wish I'd brought Toadstool here because there's a secret. Or I wish Luigi was here because he's taller and he can reach the thing. And I imagine it'll probably be something with the cast as opposed to just a, a new hat, you know? Right. Kind of like what they did with, like, Mario Maker, especially Mario Maker 2, where now you can have multiple characters on screen at once. But I don't think their abilities are character specific they're all cookie right, cutter right they but all do jump like the same yeah yeah I, I would imagine via games like this with different special abilities per character that you'll probably start seeing a little bit more of a unique play style to each individual character right I'd imagine because it's, it's something they haven't done you know just swapping characters is not often done in a Mario at least hasn't been done in a while right you probably pull off a nice solid three-dimensional challenging skill building challenge raising uh, uh, structure by swapping between characters you could have a same level that plays completely different when you're mario versus peach yeah like completely different like, like mario, super mario 2 peach can hover across the gap and for a shortcut right right yeah and, and if you play onto that there are areas mario can't get to there are areas toadstool can't get to there are secrets to be found that only specific characters so you build in immediate replayability by saying you're gonna to want to beat this level six times with each guy you know right just don't go the donkey kong 64 route and completely overdo everything <laughs> play through the game six times with each monkey those stages were huge too uh, what was what what was he even doing what doing? Running into cover and shooting a big guy, I guess. Yeah, I think I was trying to get you further along. See, what I kind of wish... I wish they superimposed a grid over the ground so I can just see what I'm kind of look Like, I don't know... They have a four, you know, four-step distance. See, I have to actually click on them to see what their movement looks like. 
Like, I wish that, like, blue grid were everywhere, just so I could tile out the ground. But instead, I have to kind of, like, look into it. So that means... Oh, that's his movement. Yeah, he only has a single ring. So, one, two, three. Alright, so I think this blue range is where he can walk and attack. So, if he has four cells of movement, one, two, three, four, and he can attack in the diagonals from there. So, I think that's his maximum range. One, two, three, four. Yeah. So, that's his maximum attack range. Well, my question is, if you're going on the diagonal from him, you only get the three three squares. So maybe it does skip, like, one, three, four. Um, what do you mean, like, these... Alright, so, going directly on the diagonal, following this okay, diagonal yeah. only, it doesn't give you four squares. No. So, maybe it's like 3.5 D&D, where it's, you know, 5, 15, 20, 30 feet, so to speak. Maybe. One, three, four, one, three, four. I think it's it's almost like more simplified. It's literally he can walk one, two, three, four tiles, with then there's no diagonal walking if you look at it like that. Well, but here's the problem with this: is it, it would be one, two, three, four there. Wait, no, one, two, three, four. Well, no, because you're not going to count the square you're coming from. So you'd move the diagonal one, two, three, four. Well, that's what I don't think there's any diagonal movement. Technically. Then how does he get to the square in front of the pipe? Like this one here? Yes. I think... I think it this includes his range of attack. And he only has a one tile range, so... His first step, second step, third step, fourth step. And then from there he can melee range here, 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 like chess. Mm. No, because no, if you follow the straight line out toward his buddy... He goes, he has four squares of full movement out to the border of the highlight. Hmm, that's true. Like, to me, I've played D&D 3.5 so long, that looks so natural to me as a staggered diagonal. That yeah. Is... But, three. Uh, yeah, that's what I was, I, I'm having a hard time figuring out what system they're using for measurement. Yeah, you do, that's a good point. Because then if that's the furthest he could walk, then his attack range should be one right. further. Alright, well, I mean, I think I'm safe as long as we don't cross this pipe threshold. Um. See if I can knock him out. Yeesh. Bring him out. Let's see. Yeah, I'll let you, uh. I remember playing the demo of Super Mario Galaxy 1 at GameStop when it first came out. The game still looks and plays great today, and I absolutely love the soundtrack. I love both the Galaxy games. It. So to me, like, I consider 1 and 2 to be, like, a package deal. They're so similar, I have a hard time distinguishing them. I think 1 was a little bit better, was definitely better story-wise, but 2 was better with graphics and gameplay. But, uh, I first experienced Galaxy, uh, when I was working at Best Buy many years ago. For the short stint that was, and I tested out the kiosk there. I thought Galaxy was a weird concept at first with the gravity stuff, but... Absolutely love it. They pulled it off really well. And great soundtrack. To me, to me that game plays like a like a Disney animated film. Like it's so magical and whimsical and extremely high production value. Oh, when did he get over there? Eh, I would say pick him off if we need to. Oh, he's got the height advantage. I want to get rid exactly. of him. Exactly. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. There's a couple of coins up there to Oh, go. yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Now, be careful with Steely Stare, because when the it's the enemy's turn and the Brutes are moving, you will uh, obviously counterattack them, but then they'll move towards you. So... Now, my question is, will that interrupt their movement? Like, if they move one square, and then I attack them, and then they rush me four squares, is that the end of their movement? I'm not exactly sure, but I think from the second they are attacked, they get four full steps. Right, but do they then get the rest of their movement after that? Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, let's say, yeah, let's say they move one step, and then you counterattack them. I think they get a new set of four after that to, to bum rush you. I think. Okay. Well, I'll hold off on that, then. And I'll hold off on that. Actually, you can Can you weaken him? No, nah, he's not. Uh, not in range. range. Back to you, my friend. Let's see. So it's just Mario. Uh, ooh, this is a real good spot. Nice. Um, might suck to come down from... Where does it... Oh. It... Hello? Can I just move on my own? Alright, I'm still gonna have to go back down the pipe, though. There's no drop-off spot. Oh, no, yes, there is. And that's your yeah. side, I believe. That's a good... I like that. I like Ike. Partial cover, and you might be able to get the far guy to run in the wrong direction. I can get either of them. I don't know if those guys... Oh, no, they can definitely go on pipes. So, I think I'll distract him. Ooh, and he's stuck. What a... What a move. Well, in that case, maybe now would be a good idea to get Luigi's counterattack ready. Because he he won't be able to reach you, and he's not walking. And he still can't reach him. Yeah. Uh, All good. Uh, we're. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. No. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, it's it's free. A kill's a kill. Does use pipes. Oh Ooh. shit. Well, that's not good. Not not the strategy I was going for. But you gotta remember he gets extra moves when he goes through a pipe. Right, right, right. Right, 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 right. Um, am I like boned? Alright, I guess I can run around him. Yeah, I'm just gonna dip. Um, what does hammer do? Fucks him up, but doesn't destroy him. Does that give him a knockback, though? Will that knock him back down the pipe? Um, no. This has honey elemental, so it won't give him knockback, but it might stick, sticky him. Um, yeah. I'm just gonna run. This might not be a good idea, but I am curious. If I slide tackle him, will, it be, will he be able to catch up with me? Oh, yeah, I'm out of there. <laughs> and you didn't move. Peace, bitch. <laughs> and I can eliminate that guy. And that's it. Excellent. Um, well, that means I should be able to go up here. Slide tackle him. Can we go back down? Oh wait. That's a good question. Go in here. Slide tackle him. Can we not go back down? No, cannot go back down. Maybe only one pipe entry per turn. Alright, so in that case.
Oh, man. <laughs> that thing will take forever to get to him. I don't even see it. Well, oh. there's your red line. I don't even... I comes out the pipe. Okay, the yeah. pipe. I think it hits him this turn. No way. No way. So it's 54 to 66 damage. That's 35 to 45. Well, like I just say go for it, yeah. if it if it can reach. Andale. Wow. And if anything, he'll be chasing you. In the pipe he goes. Extra movement, comes out in the other pipe. Oh, not even in the other pipe. Sweet. So he up here. Peace out, man. God damn, I forgot to turn my timer back on. Well, let it be known we're about two hours in. <laughs> uh, what happened? Oh. It's your turn. Let's see, your Luigi is all the way over there. Double check. You might be able to go up the pipe, bounce off my head, and get across. Mm. Ah, just shy. Just shy guy. <laughs> there are no targets. Uh, yeah, let's slap on a hero sight. <laughs> Super Saiyan Mario. No, no, that's a Sonic thing now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I see. There were no enemies. Here is Gilligan. Ugh. Uh, we murdered them all. Uh, right under the big ol' arrow. Close enough. Let's see if uh, you as Luigi can reach the end. Otherwise, I'll stage myself. There we are. Whee! The brothers unite. How appropriate. Um, I'm just gonna end round. I don't think we'll be pen penalized. Yeah. Enemies go. Nope. Here is still go. Okay. We just wasted a turn there. That's nice. Why? I think we're in the wrong colors. Oh, fuck me. How did that happen? Oh, jeez. <laughs> Oopsie. I'm actually kind of upset. <laughs> <laughs> that may blow our uh, high score here. Alright, and then... Shit. We left Mario there. Alright. Wait, can I control... Alright, go Rabid Luigi and see how close he is to the pipe. Oh, I think you can do it. There we go. Victory is mine. We've got to match your, your stance. Right. Everything in its place. Noise. Flush with victory. It keeps saying new content. Oh, that's it's probably just like the next mission in the line. Welcome to the buddy dome. Yeah, there, there's a handful of puns in this game. Uh, where were we at? Did you need to take off soon, or? Uh. Unfortunately, yeah, that's a, I do have an hour and a half drive in front of me, so... Right. That'll put me home at 1130, uh... Yeah, that, that should probably go. Cause, yeah, I, I was... Before we got into another one, that'll probably take close to a half hour. Uh, I mean, it, it's... I got some wiggle room, but... Let's... 
stay this side of caution. Cool, Leo. Damn it, because now that I'm into it, I want to, like... Right. <laughs> I want to actually play, but... Well, it'll be here. Now, I, I would say, let's play online, but I don't have a Switch. Uh, I guess this must be compatible online, maybe just for verses or something. I imagine it would be of some sort. Um... I don't, I don't immediately see anything about online, but I'm sure it's there. Yeah. Well, um, wish, wish bad need, uh, safe travels. Bye-bye, chat. Got a long drive in front of me, otherwise I'd hang out a little bit longer. But thanks for keeping me entertained. And, uh, yeah, I'm just going on break for a sec to see him on his way. Then I'll be back and we'll play some more rabbits. I won't keep him too long, guys. Stay put. Alrighty, guys, I am back. Sorry about that. Back to solo. No. No. Oh. Wrong D. Oakley Dokes. Back into the forest, was it? Gardens. So, I think... Where was I? Let's say there. Uh, and once again, all the coins respawn, so... Okay. Okay, this is that puzzle block, or block puzzle, wasn't too familiar with. Like, no way this is just for, like, demonstration purposes. Maybe, uh, for later. You know what else I want to do? Testing, testing, okay.
I like this area. The colors right here are amazing. Really reminds me of Donkey Kong. Country. Okay, we're getting close, that's for sure. Here it is. Do I have to do both parts again? I hope not. I saved or something. This is lame. Do this again. Alright, um...
Whoops. Should have done attack up first. Oh well. Not too concerned right now. No, not okay. Oof! Oof! Ruined him. That was definitely even better played than last time. Ooh, I could use health. Oh well. Luigi, you're standing in the back. Back line. Alright, this is definitely the heaviest opposition I've seen yet, I think. They are well defended here. Should have amped up the power. Did it, did it again. Ah, oh, well.
Messed that one up really bad. All right, at least they give me the same health I had. If they restored my health, that that would be a really cheap method of cheesing through. Please skip. Let's see if this is the move. Not quite sure. That's a thing. I should have put the shield on him. Didn't think it was going to be necessary. I don't know how I feel about this carrying health over in between battles.
Critical? Uh, that was a big hit. Please. Uh. This is gonna be rough. I don't think we're gonna win. Oh! Oh! Really? And he comes after Luigi for that? Get out of here! Get out of here! That was 100% the enemy. Shit. That's bullshit. I thought, if anything, the Brute was gonna stand still. I didn't think he was gonna go after Petey Piranha, but even still. That was stupid. That's what I want to do first. Yep. Gotcha. Gotcha. Oh. Uh. 
Oh, he's going the long way? Ah. Ah. much I'm feeling this. And Luigi's dead. Is this possible? I think I let Luigi take way too much damage before. Alright, how far away will it let me walk? At the end of the bridge, it'll tell me you're leaving the battle area. Yep. Now I'm debating restarting the chapter, because Luigi, pretty much at best, he can take one hit from a small enemy. Anything other than that, he's dead. I can't, like, buy shit. This is obnoxious. Why do you have to carry over health? Especially when you don't know what's coming next. I don't know, I'm not big on that. Tomorrow's stream will be Fire Emblem, because apparently that's what I actually want to play. This is not quite the substitute I was expecting. Okay, uh, I guess I'm gonna try another one or two more times, try to brute force my way through. If I can't do it, I'll come back later. It's not worth it. It's probably for a piece of concept art or something. Like, that's ever exciting. I mean... I do like concept concept art, and this game in particular, I'm sure, is really nice concept art, but, you know. Would I prefer a piece of concept art or a new weapon? Come on. This is a game, not a gallery. Mario time! <laughs> Alright, so how do I do this in a way that doesn't completely fuck myself over? So this, absolutely, send him, no, can I send him to PD Piranha? No? Oh, okay, I get it. Uh, that'll do. Why did it blow up? That's... Not what I s told it to do. Is it because an enemy crossed its path? That didn't happen last time. Okay. Uh, okay.
Uh, I did not place him well. That's not what I meant to hit, actually. This one's going down the drain quick. This one's wasting no time running off to the drain. Let's see what happens. Hmm, not what I wanted. That's actually kind of cool. If he went OB, that would have been really cool. I was getting nervous. I thought he was about to do two attacks. Can't slide him out. I'm definitely gonna have to manually attack. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Homie? Combo! WP, my friend. Right back where he was. Alright. Okay. Find myself a little bit more time. I do mean a little. Hopefully that shield's a good idea, not a complete waste. I think it looks like it was a good idea. Son of a bitch, he hit so hard! I'm in deep trouble. At this point, Mario is literally the only one who can take one hit. Everyone else dies.
All right, he can't move. That's pretty important. Let's see if it... Um, I'm fucking dumb. At 60 damage a clip, I don't know what I can do. I'm gonna have to eat at least... At least three of those hits. Yeah, they gave him a lot of health. And I don't think my weapons are gonna cut it. I can't be spending two, three attack rounds taking out minor enemies. And doesn't matter where I am on the map, his range is like infinite. It's movement. Yeah, rocket. Yeah, he can basically fire across the entire map. So I have to remain... How many steps is he away from the front? Right, he's got one more step forward. So I have to remain within these first three blocks. Tiles. That's... That doesn't leave me with much coverage. And even still, I'm then gonna have to bum rush his area with enough health to take him out. I don't see it being feasible. I think my characters need more health. Yeah, alright, I'm just gonna finish this up as normal. I'll try to perfect it later. Waste my time, but... Okay. That does distract him. Can I use that more? I know I'm close. And I know what I just said. Going in with new strategy. Alright, well first of all, let's... I have an idea. Come on. So now I don't have to work with Luigi's low health. Alright, that's a workaround. I can deal with that. Um, I was really, I was actually hoping to strategize by having Luigi's auto bomb thing and Rabbit Peach's auto bomb thing, having both of those mobiles out to distract PD Piranha. But ultimately, I think th this will have to do. Luigi just didn't have enough health. And uh, Rabbit Peach is a healer. You know what, if she's a healer... This is, this is getting exotic.
that actually didn't help. Uh, I think Luigi's still got two hits to die, but... May have bought some extra time. just done that, but okay. technically not walking, so... Oh my god. I don't know if I'm gonna stream this game anymore. <laughs> I am not winning this one. No chance in hell. And when I say winning, I'm talking about winning with all three characters surviving. Well, now I might as well go big. I wish they didn't- you didn't have to wait for the d death animation to play. Like, I know he's dying, I know he's gonna- I knew he was gonna die before I touched him. Can- can you just let me press buttons again? I don't need to watch the same death animation five million times. Alright, I'll acknowledge this is probably a gigantic mistake, but whatever. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. 
that works out very well. Oh, was that slowdown? Alright, yeah, that was the play of the century. Fortunately, Peter Piranha here is gonna wipe out all my units. Seems so unpredictable. Like shit just happens. I like Fire Emblem. It's very mathematical. You can predict every single action for the most part, outside of RNG, which that game is notoriously known for. This is exhausting. Like, I'm thinking of calling stream early just because of this shit. Can I buy better weapons? Obviously, I just need to pay to play. Everything's so expensive. Why? Like, I'm sure plus 25 damage is gonna make a huge difference. That's secondaries. Those are all- why- uh, why are they just as expensive? Well, Mario was always going to be on my team. I might as well give him the best weapon right now. I don't know. I kind of like Bounce better than Honey. Bounce can kill way easier than Honey. Honey's nice, but... Honey is only really useful against the big dudes. Alright, how about Luigi? Ink damage? Ink prevents combatants from, 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 from performing any actions requiring a weapon. Okay, so it's... I want to say, like, silence or mute. Because that would be, like, for specials. It's like a disarming. I don't know how you describe that. Uh, actually, that's pretty cool. I do like the Bowser stuff. Oh, I am uh, out of money. Let's see what happens. Actually, you know what? Before I get started here, let me just take a quick bathroom break. I tell you, once I start getting the uh, caffeinated beverages going, right through me. So, bear with me, guys. I will be right back. We will beat this. I will beat this. All right, let's uh, let's try this again.
This was a mistake. He's gonna get an extra step. Oh, fuck. Fuck that. There's splash damage too? How many things are they gonna keep adding in? Give me this big huge tutorial section at the beginning. Don't tell me any of this stuff. I think that's a good start. Let's see how far that can take me. He's gonna hit Luigi. No? He's gonna hit that. Okay. That's fine. I wish she had the shield, but it's done is done. I thought I was clear. I thought I counted that. Why don't they lay the grid out? Yeah, this is gonna... This is probably the last day I'll be playing this game. I'm enjoying it, but... I'm enjoying it for pretty much all the reasons that aren't gameplay.
try not to sound like the game is bad or that I don't like it, but... For a tactical game, I feel like, uh... A lot of the quality of life elements are strangely missing. Or, or overly complex. I shouldn't have to go into Tacticam, then select which type of vision I want, and then have to lock it in place so that I can move around and then count grid. Way too many inputs to do the simplest things. Shield's nice.
Okay, I can I can definitely distract him with those things. The target out of range thing is I mean, I'll be taking a huge risk by moving forward, but It's really my best bet. Hopefully those just keep PD distracted, otherwise I am finished. At least I still have one out there. Oh, I should have done damage up. Fucking idiot. Alright. Um. Alright, even if he does attack Mario, I've got one spare hit. Please attack the bomb. I don't care anymore. I fuck this shit.
Zero percent chance. For real? For fucking real? Yeah, so there's a pay-to-win game. See, if I came back to this post-game, I'd have all the best weapons, and this would have been the easiest shit in the world. So. Oh, what a fucking shit show. Can't wait to come back and do it all again. Wow. But on easy mode, when I have purchased all the best weapons in the game. What's up, Zero? Zero oh seven one three. Yeah, apparently my performance was only fair, and I, I'll have to agree with it. It wasn't a great performance. Um, I'm sure. I don't know. That's a good question. I mean. Where I'm at right now in the game, I'm sure I could defeat that mission, or beat that mission 100% good. Um, if I went in with better health, or especially with better weapons, I can afford- or I can buy better weapons, I just can't afford them. So, you know, if you give me an hour or two to grind, I'm sure I can come back and beat it no problem, but... The way it's set up right now... I mean... Um, if I gave it another three to five attempts, I might be able to do it, but I don't feel like wasting that much of my time. The ultra challenges. I have no idea what that is, probably some post-game shit, but I'm, I guarantee you, guarantee you, even if you buy the best weapons in the game, that's probably still challenging. I'm all, I'm all for tactical challenge, but when I literally just have to buy better weapons, that to me seems like a cop-out. Part of the DLC? Okay. I've heard a lot of good things about the DLC. 
I've heard it's pretty a per pretty hefty pack. Which is nice. Especially considering it's paid. All I wanted to do was explore World 1. I had no intention of doing extra missions. Yeah, I, I have to, I agree with you with uh, requiring spe uh, certain characters or skills to beat. Because, I mean, obviously, I just started the game, like, I don't know, not even eight hours ago, so... <clears throat> I definitely haven't unlocked all the skills. That's another thing, is this, this skill system where, you know, if I just had more of the special power orbs to buy... Or if I just had those skills, I would have beaten that no problem. But I, again, I have to grind cash to buy the skills to beat it easier. To me, that takes a lot of the skill out of the game and replaces it with paid for power-ups. I'm not big on that. Yeah, I mean, from what I can tell, there are a lot of different skills, as well as a lot of different weapons and stuff like that, so... I could definitely see certain pairings synergizing very well. And some not synergizing very well. Unfortunately, once again, my, uh... Pool of selection for skills and weapons is kind of, uh... Lacking right now. So, I can't really play around too much, I'm just kind of working with what I got. Let me guess, you are not at the right level to do this. Oh, hey, look at that. I was wrong. Good. I like being wrong sometimes. Piping session. Give her the pipe. Nice. Alright, I hope I didn't miss anything. Uh, I think this area is pretty cut and dry. Yahoo! I'm not gonna lie, I think I like the overworld exploration element of this game way better than the tactical element of the game. Though admittedly, the open this open world exploration is super basic, but it's at least visually stunning and enjoyable enough to play. I mean, you know, movement smooth and everything. Yahoo! Uh, okay, it's all set up. All set up. Good to hear. Maybe the way they kind of balance the game, World 1 has the easiest challenges initially, but when you go back to clean up all the challenge missions, as it were, like they set those to be the hardest, whereas Worlds 2 through 4 or whatever are more balanced throughout. Perhaps. Okay, is there like literally nothing to do up here? You'd think going back to the boss arena, there'd be something, something neat to find. Nope. 
All right. Well, we're done here. I do like the lighting effects. I mean, I can't stop talking about the visuals of this game. Bossy area usually has nothing. Bah! Way to go, you. Way to drop the ball, Ubisoft. Okie dokes. I'll come back later on, maybe. Big maybe. Big maybe. And with approximately 30 to 60 minutes left of the stream, let's finally get into the as advertised World 2. Not before a detour at Battle HQ to see what I got. Now, it don't. Don't get the wrong impression with all my complaining. This is a very good game. I am enjoying it. <laughs> 60 minutes? Alright, I'll stretch it just for you. <laughs> Twist my arm, why don't you? Ooh, the golden bullet. This shiny 24 karat cannoneer is the gold standard when it comes to striking it rich on the battlefield or filling cavities. Oof, they love their puns. Ooh! A 15% chance of doing more damage against the mid boss? You mean PD Piranha? You mean the weapon I should have had in that last mission? Thanks! Raises the chance of triggering the weapon super effect against this type. So it just raises the chances of better attack. It doesn't guarantee anything. It doesn't make- it doesn't add 15% attack, it just gives you a 15% chance to enhance your attack. I think. I think. Uh, well it doesn't do any more damage, it just has the mid-boss advantage. Bling Machine! A nugget of wisdom. Don't go between Rabbit Peach and her favorite Auric accessory unless you want to be ground to gold dust. Auric. Got it. I thought they were talking about her phone. It's it's literally the gold cannon. Got it. Auric, meaning gold-like or bearing qualities of gold. Fun fact. Unlike King Midas. Oh, the golden touch. Unlike King Midas, you can't turn foes into gold, however, you can turn them into sniveling crybabies with this gold-plated precision weapon. Shining Dawn. Earn yourself a gold star for destruction when you transmute this malleable elemental from passive inventory item to a battlefield beauty. Alright, so all these gold weapons look like they're good against mid-bosses, I have to keep that in mind. Did I miss one? Any skills I can apply? Um, how many do I have? 42? Okay. That's a lot. When did I get all that? are expensive. Why can't I get the others? Oh, it requires other things. Okay. Okay. Then I think it would be in my best interest to grab this. Thanks. Gotta improve Mario's movement skills. Yeah, you might be right. Get that stomp and dash damage.
Damn, 100 dash damage? That does sound OP. Thanks for the clue. Let's grab that. I can always shuffle them around later if I need. Oh, actually I meant to look into what are these. Extra health, that's what I need. Movement range, mushroom mend. Mario gets more health points from mushrooms. Oh, I was wondering about that. I'm like, why don't mushrooms just fully restore your health? Why is it only 70? Okay, this alleviates that issue. Once again, you have to buy it. Not just a feature of the game. Wait, isn't that one... Oh, that's for Stomp, okay. Yeah, Pipe Exit, that sounds pretty nifty. But it gives him one extra movement tile, and it's only 10 skill balls. Same with movement speed. I guess movement range. Or was it the... Yeah, I think. Whatever. Alright, let's get Peach, or Rabbit Peach up. Uh, I think getting the basic stuff in is a good idea. And to dash into two enemies is pretty clutch. Um, let's see, I can grab shield upgrade. Dash damage is so good. Is that what I just got? Or dash oh dash damage, there it is. Yep, I'll uh, I'll take you up on that. Damn, I didn't buy anything for him. And one more. Steely Stairs OP. Thanks for the hot tip. Let's see, where is Steely Stair? Oh, two-shot attempt for Steely Stair. That sounds awesome. Steely cooldown also sounds good. Steely damage. Yeah, I could I could see all that. Up to three. Oh yeah, I didn't realize that. Oh my god. With a one-turn cooldown? That's legit. Alright, so... Maybe this is um, kind of re readjusting my perspective. How expensive? Yeah, it's pretty exp Oh my god. Yeah, alright, so this is a game where they purposely start you off like really underpowered, but you have a lot of room to grow to be overpowered. You just have to put in the time to get there. Okay. I can put up with that. Okay. Uh, let's see. For now, I think I'll just... I can reset these later, so I'm just gonna see if I can up my golden shower for now. Um, actually, I think I want to change my cast real quick. Yeah. Make me some Ouija. Um... Alright. World 2-0. -oh. After I impulsively collect these coins. What was this again? Oh, yeah. A 
and this was um Okay, so instead of exploring through the world, I can just pick chapters like this. I like that. And do they have the the boss? And that's the bonus area? Yeah. Okay, so I don't actually have to walk everywhere. That's cool. And I think I found everything on, like, as far as secrets go, I found everything on the map except, like, the one that was around there. There was one I couldn't figure out. I didn't see any, like, reward. I, there were just pushable blocks I couldn't figure out. Okay. And then challenges. Oh, awesome! I don't have to walk there either. I like how he's buried under his hat. Cool. And challenges. Okay, that's... Okay, cool. I'm glad I checked that out. That will save time. That would have saved a lot of time for me instead of me like running around everywhere. <laughs> Seven. Hey, gotta start somewhere. Desert and ice? I am confused. Let's see, are they not gonna let me... Oh. Okay. I thought I gained the ability to push blocks. Not those type of blocks, though. <laughs> Stupid me. Oh, here we go. Never mind. I don't know what's going on in this game. So, I guess I have to smash that block. Oh, no. There's... I have to use a switch. Duh. Which there is none of right now, so... Ooh, I like the design on the side of that cannon. A rabbit holding a gem? stuff have to come back to later. You know what? Fuck your blocks. Pushing it. That's a pretty sick caterpillar. No! It's called the worm! Whatever, you're, Ubisoft's European. They're different. Yeah, I, I figure that out. Every time you complete a world, you get a new overworld changing ability. Nothing uh, too groundbreaking there. That weirdos. But they're endearing. What is this, Hailfire Peaks? Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> Just fucking throw out the map, who cares? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Mop. I'm actually impressed. That's mostly in time. Alright. I, li I like stuff like that. I like it when anything, games or movies, uh, sync their visuals to the audio. I'm a huge fan of that. Again, I, I have nothing but enormous compliments for the overworld design. Have you found Toad yet? No, I didn't even even tried. Sorry, lady. Or whatever you are. Kites? So what's going on here? I'm there. There. Three. That's it. Four. Uh, where's that pipe go? Over there. Alright, hopefully I should do pretty well here with my freshly amped up characters. There we go, give him something to sweat about. Signature Grant Kirkhope soundtrack. Peace. Yoink. Alright, what does the foot thing do? Itchy feet, heroes in range, plus one cell movement. Good support character, but unfortunately that's not what I'm looking to do right now. Starting slow with the attacks, but uh, they'll start feeling it real soon. Yes, Luigi, you are the wiener. Uh, and we Gouda. Freeze! <laughs> Got him. Woo -hoo -hoo. You made a mistake stepping out, son. <laughs> Okay, this is, I think, the first time I've seen enemies with special attacks of their own. 
It's gonna start getting harder. Ah, okay, he has counterattack. Got it. Alright, I'm gonna play this. Yeah, I'm already digging the sentries a lot. If not for anything else, they provide distractions for the enemies to target while your characters move relatively freely. And if they reach their target, they deliver a pretty big hit. So, I'm about it. I'm about them. Alright, he's got some sort of a shield going on. I do have the jump on his head thing. Let's try that out. I'm curious. I like it. Actually, did pretty decent damage, too. And, uh... Can I shoot the sentry? Not intentionally, at least. Sure, what's the worst that can happen? I think that was it. <laughs> that, that was the worst it could get. Alright, um... I think I'll give myself a little extra run speed. I don't know if I needed to, but just wanted to try it out. Took the shield down at least. Let's throw her shield up. Ah, uh, he wasn't in range. I didn't think so, but whatever. Distracted him for a moment. Epic camera angle for, for that. Ah, it's sticky. How can I tell? If I weren't paying attention, how would I know that it is honey down? Maybe there's honey underneath, but since the sand is yellow, I can't see it. I don't know how I feel about that. Right, do the sentries move at the end of my turn or before my turn? Whatever. All right, let's let's wrap this up. shot.
Douche. Honey! Oh, honey! Okay, so that sentry is definitely stuck in the ground. There's no doubt about it. And, uh... Oh, I didn't realize Rabbit Peach is, uh, sticky as well. Yeah, I think it's about time for Cleansing Jump. Unfortunately, World 1, uh, the entirety of World 1, none of the enemies had special moves like that, so I didn't have to deal with it, so kind of didn't feel super important. But now, apparently, they do definitely have special attacks, so... Yeah, I think Cleansing Jump's gonna have to come sooner than later. So many things to buy. So many things. That kill... I wish it told me how much actual damage it did. Oh, I guess it's a range. Cheap. Alright, that's good. And, uh, fuck you. With a hammer. That's right, golden shot. Damn, Skippy. Alright, what are these rolling balls? Oh, they definitely have different designs on them. Alright, the last one was a Yoshi ball. That one was a Rabbit Luigi. That's a Rabbit Mario. I'm sure all the cast is in there. They look like balls, you don't say. <laughs> Spherical objects, I would say. You allow me to get scientific. What are those balls? Yeah, they're probably balls. Alright, at least I'm going in with really good health. What do we got going on? Alright, one bastard over here. There. Up there. There. So we've got two at high elevation, two at same elevation, and a third at high elevation. Okay. Hmm. Should I divide and conquer? This is bad for a day. I think about I'm thinking about taking the whole group counterclockwise. I can't can't, I shouldn't be able to go wrong by having the altitude advantage. I would think. Alright, so let's give everybody some fleet feet real quick. Let's go! Ah, damn it, meant to do a slide tackle. Ah, my bad. Yep, it looks like uh, we were on the same, same uh, mind frame there. Let's see, if he's gone right off the bat, maybe I can just storm with Mario and Peach? Yeah, maybe that's a good idea. Maybe I'll push... I hate this fucking map. Maybe I can... Squishy. Well, if you're referring to his low health, I am aware of that. If I push these two guys ahead, move 
at least one of them into the pipe to knock him out. If the others split off, work on him and him. At that time, Luigi should be moving up. Four games. Golden shot. Yeah, golden. <laughs> Why the heck not? That's not so bad. Let's see. If he gets the shot, it's one shot. Luigi, pull through for me, please. My greenie. This should be a pretty easy cleanup here. running in there. I didn't do the slide tackle. I always forget. Still no fucks given. Still not one. That wasn't exactly the rousing success I was hoping for, but uh, next turn, we got this. We'll, uh, we'll finish up without you. There's no way I can miss this shot. <laughs> well, at least someone's enjoying it. So 
I'll throw down a heal just in case there's another mission after this. And, um... I had to get that fancy red text, by the way. I did it! I don't think there's anything to explore up here, but just in case. Ooh, Bill Blaster. It's huge. I really like that. When you get close to the drums, they add the drum part in. I really like shit like that. Like in other Mario games, when you jump on Yoshi's back, they add a percussive part to the music. It's subtle, but so, uh... Cool. Very nice touch. What fancy red text? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm colorblind. <laughs> Is it even? a bit of a mystery. My initial guess has been the kid in the real world who is watching all of this. Oh. Defeating rabbits frees them from the Megabug's influence which then makes the mega bug, bug stronger. So by getting through the game and taking the mega bug's power away, we're giving the mega bug power. I'm reading that right? Okay. Stop for a second? Alright, must have been the way it rendered. What, Steam? Yes, I know you've got to update for the fifth time today. Power orbs. 
purple balls. <laughs> Boy, are they going to be annoyed when they find out there's a desert just over there. Freezing their asses off. <laughs> like, they could probably literally see it. Uh, that's that's good. That, that, that is a funny. That makes me a laugh, haha. -ha. That makes me haha -ha out of the mouth. Brain Buster there. Wow, I like these particle effects. Or like the the soot. They looked really good. W what happened? Where'd they go? I want them back. I want to stare at them. Ice in the desert? But how? Hey, you got ice in my desert. Hey, you got sand in my glacier. I liked uh, taking a little time looking around, seeing all the little details, nooks and crannies, looking out for Easter eggs and stuff like that. That's where I get a lot of enjoyment out of games like these. Like, uh, kind of stopped earlier because I noticed there were some bloopers frozen in this crystal. Nice touch. Yeah, like the ice cube tray. I was like, hmm. Yeah, I mean, if there's anything this game is not lacking, it's detail. What's the strat here? Alright, I got it. I tell you, for a, a, a tactical game, which is usually for a slightly older or more mature audience or a, a gamer of a certain caliber, the overworld ex exploration areas are, like, made for babies. I don't know, maybe it gets tougher later? Isn't mature. What I'm saying is the, the tactical gameplay aspect um, definitely has some challenge to it. But the overworld stuff, super basic. Uh, do I want to go all the way down there? No, that's... Okay, right, then I missed something up there. Ah, so many things to do. Get my uh, coin numbers back up again. <laughs> All right, what's the catch? Nothing.
Okay. All right, that, uh, that's that's not a puzzle. That's not that's not a puzzle. That's pressing a button. But okay, I like the disco ball. Wish it did something more than just illuminate its tiny closet. But all right, well that was uh, a thing. Yeah, I mean, uh, this game's obviously meant for it, everybody, or what, what is it? Everybody 10 years old and up, E10+. Plus. I don't know, it just seems like a disconnect to me that the, the main meat and potatoes of the game is quite challenging and cerebral, but the, the rest of it's just dumb. Now I know it's it's not a, it's not a platformer. Its number one goal is not to be a, an adventure game, but you know, I think you guys get what I mean. Like that last puzzle, push one block onto the panel. That's insulting. I don't I don't care if you're nine years old. That's insulting. I'm having doubts I'll be able to handle those super hard challenges. And that's what I'm saying. If you're going to make the meat and the, you know, the main event of the game sufficiently challenging, why not balance the whole game to be sufficiently challenging? I don't work for Nintendo. I'm just a dude who says things out loud every now and then. Where's my goddamn Rabbids movie? Fuck a minion. Undergarment Gulch. Oh, sick bullet bill. Oh, it's Bonsai Bill. Oof, this one's a trek. Do I have to get how many party members? I guess just. What? No, no, no. I guess just one. I guess just one. Alright, yeah, and what am I looking at? So, one... Okay, big guy. Very light opposition. For now. But for how long? Okay. 
Oh, this mission? Well, that sounds promising. Oh, this mission. Great. to end the turn. I was trying to hold off. I'm, I'm going for one more quick bathroom break. I was actually planning finishing up by now, but let me get through this one last chapter. So hold tight, guys. Running off real quick. I will be right back. back in it. And look at that, it looks like my timer is getting close to balancing out. Unrelated. Don't mind me, just refilling the tank. A shot that could not have worked out any better. Right, what's his range for itchy feet? God, why is everything so complex? Four tile range. Hopefully that should be all right. Actually, no. I don't think I needed to jump off her, but whatever. Yes! Just to knock out his cover. That's fine. Why do you force me to do what you want? I want to shoot. Uh, tomorrow I'll be playing Fire Emblem Three Houses. Distract him. Good. Good. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. What's that? Does he spawn more? Is that a is that a power? Of 
Or did he empower himself? I don't know what NME stands for. Great game. And and en enemy? Enemy empowerment? Shoot him? 100%? Ouija, my dude. Make it happen, Captain. And a golden shot. You're my golden boy. Um, should I give him Steely Stare? I don't see any good reason right now. Okay, well, so far so good. I'm a little nervous here. Well, I should say, going too well. Alright, free shot, whatever. You know, I, sh I, I knew I should have started warming them up. See, this is what I was worried about. Oh, there they are. Can Luigi do the double jump? Hey, I think that was him. Right? Okay, yeah. Um... What's her range on... Here we go! 
No! Uh, one, two, three, four. Okay. At least we're dividing the damage up. Fuck yeah. Yikers. Let's see if I can just gun it out of here. Just made it. Oof, 
What a finisher. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and I got healed, too. Does that mean I'm done? Yay! First try. With one turn to spare. <laughs> cool. Alright, we did a thing. That was a cool mission. Let's collect my loot. I guess we're not freeing that bull bonsai bill after all. Oh well. I want to change the camera angle. I want to check out the lighting effects on those blocks. And that plant kind of reminds me, uh, on the cactus right in front of us, it reminds me of, a uh, Panzer from Super Mario 2. I'm sure it's just a coincidence, but... Even still. Have we here? Ah, another mission right away. Except for this. Start. Uh. Can you just let me restart? Yeah. What's with the whole throwing me back into the overworld thing? At least the loading times are acceptable. Dick. Offspring, huh? Eh? Feel a little young to be tossing around that kind of language. Bowser phone. 2020 is weird, man. Puzzle section? Is 
No. Where is the red fucking fuck? God damn it. Puzzle section. Does that do anything? This is definitely the next area. Uh, that's it for me today. Uh, I mean, it was a decent stream. I didn't quite get quite as far into World 2 as I expected. I was kind of planning on spending most of the stream doing that, but... I did spend some time exploring the World 1 and doing... Just going through the features of the game. And earlier, I had, bad, uh, I had Bad Nate on. We did some co-op. That was cool. I'm glad to have tried out co-op. I didn't think I would ever get a chance to for like a while, but just so happened he popped through. But uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna wrap it up for now. Sorry. Maybe I'll pick it up tomorrow. I'm not sure. We'll see. I think I've got a, a solid enough taste of this game. We'll see if I come back. But I'll figure that for tomorrow, don't you worry. And then, uh, Friday, I'll be doing another Zelda Ocarina of Time randomizer. No, no stopping me. I'm excited for that. I actually wanted to do that today, but I know if I did it today, I wouldn't feel like doing it Friday. So. Let's see, is there anyone we can raid? Can we raid anyone today? Uh, while I'm looking for someone to raid, I'm once again going to throw my plugs out there. Please check out my uh, YouTube channel. I have a whole bunch of videos up there. My latest series has been uh, highlight highlight reels of my first streams doing Torok. So please check them out. Let me know what you think. Offer any criticism. To make future videos better. Um, visit, check out my Facebook page. In addition to any sort of updates and announcements, I do a weekly show called, um, it's Creator's Earth Show, uh, a weekly segment called Creator Spotlight, where each week I pick a creator that I like and I spend all week talking about him. This week's chosen creator is Larry Bundy Jr., also known as Guru Larry on YouTube. Uh, he does, he has awesome material. I've been following his stuff since pretty much I started getting into YouTube, so. Highly recommended. Check out Guru Larry on YouTube or my Facebook page. Either works. Um, let's see. I think, uh, speaking of uh, Zelda, I'm gonna host Markass. He's doing a Wind, Ra Wind Waker randomizer race with Simple Flips. I love those guys. Big fan of Simple Flips. Let's give him a nice little raid. Let's wish Marcus the best, or Marcass the best in his race against Simple Flips. Alright, the deed is done. Cool. As always, my knights, thank you so much for joining me today on this stream, this, uh, eventful stream for what it was I will see you tomorrow around the same time and um, we'll play something I'll figure that out once again have a great night see you soon